Well, high definition is, uh, improves the resolution of the image. Uh, it doesn't improve the contrast between as much as, say, a, a dye or other methods of improving contrast does. When you're trying to detect something, uh, improvements in contrast help you visualize the lesion, the area of abnormality, better. Um, I'm sure high definition improves things to an extent, and we've shown that you know, if you had better resolution, you do better. But if you added contrast to better resolution, you do even better. And that's what this study shows. The first thing we need to do is to uh, do a much larger study. Because this was done, as a, the limitations of the study are that it's a single center study. So it's a tertiary level hospital study, which includes a high risk population. Now, what we need, and, and it was done by expert endoscopists who are dedicated, trained in this kind of technique. So we need to demonstrate that this works in all hands, that standard endoscopy lists, you know, no matter what the practice setting, if they perform this kind of procedure, then that would uh, improve detection rates. And we need, to, we need to demonstrate that. And what we're doing ne next is uh, uh, a, a UK-wide study. That's a collaboration between Leeds, Oxford and uh, North Tees that we're trying to set up which will involve about 1600 patients with this condition and will include all practice settings and all types of patients uh, and will compare high definition with uh, high definition and the dye spray uh, to you know prove conclusively that this method will work no matter what the setting. I do think so. There are several things uh, that you know, now all societies, including the AGA, the ASGE, endorse the use of chroma endoscopy for surveillance in ulcerative colitis. But the penetration, the number of patients who actually have chroma endoscopy worldwide is, is quite low, even in the United Kingdom, where this has been standard practice or should have been standard practice based on guidelines for the last five years. Only about a third of patients actually do end up getting this procedure several reasons. One is training, so endoscopists may not know how to use this procedure. Two, the time. It increases the time because you, you, you're spending extra time to spray the dye uh, and that increases the time and that reduces the number of procedures you do, I suppose, in, in settings outside the NHS where, you know, costs don't come into account as much. Uh, that, would be, that would be another factor. So it, it might mean that uh, because it's a more thorough, a better examination, it might need to be reimbursed slightly more uh, but you know that's uh, that's something for administrators to do rather than physicians I think all we can as scientists show uh, that one method works better and if you detect more precancerous lesions and are able to resect them as we can do now endoscopically then uh, like for sporadic cancers that you know when you take out polyps you reduce the risk of subsequent development of colorectal cancer I'm sure that in patients with ulcerative colitis, we would be in time demonstrate that removing these lesions would reduce uh, downstream the risk of cancer developing in these patients.